Hi everyone, this is Said. Um, today I'm here to show you guys a different recipe and it's called aloo porta or you can say spicy mashed potato. So first I'm going to, on the first step I'm going to boil some potatoes. I go here about 1 kg. I wash them and I'm going to boil them until it's softened. You can use any potatoes guys, so there's small ones or big ones, it's totally up to you. Because I'm going to put a stopwatch on for uh, for the potato. Probably will take about 20 minutes, 20 minutes or 20, 30 minutes around. Also, uh, another way you can do, um, you know, the, you can microwave it as well, the potato. You can cook it on the microwave as well. It has to be softened, so it's like mashed potato, guys. The, how you make the mashed potato. So I'll be back after 25 to 30 minutes, guys, okay? Guys, uh, we'll need some ch uh, dry chili as well, roasted dry chili for the for the porta. Make sure you can't burn it. Alright guys, we also will need some uh, fried onion as well. So the berasta. So I'm just frying some onions here. Because you have to be very careful when you fry the onions. Uh, it can't be over fried. And you just stir it as well. Guys, my fried onion is ready. Now I'm gonna remove the onion from the oil. Alright, right, guys, I uh, removed the skin from the potato and now I'm going to mash it uh, smoothly. Right, guys, uh, my all in all the ingredients are ready. Now I'm going to show you the borta about three, four types of borta with the mashed potato. My potatoes are ready here. I got some uh, fried onion. I got some green chili here. Some freshly chopped sliced onion as well. Some coriander. Some uh, roasted uh, chilies. The small chilies. You can have the big one if you have the big one. Dry red chilies. You can have it as well. Kashmiri chilies. I got mustard oil. Um, salt. And I go also one boiled egg. I um, shredded it. Also I have garlic pickle. Uh, I'm gonna show you one version of the garlic uh, pickle. I have naga pickle as well. I'm gonna show you one with the naga pickle and uh, chat masala as well. So let's start guys. First one I'm gonna show you the classic one. Um, Right, so let's start here. I got a small bowl here. First, I'm going to actually um, add some dry chilies, but a few of them, like six, seven of them. Or if you have the big ones, uh, Kashmiri chilies, red chilies, set two, two would be fine. And some salt on this, one quarter teaspoon of salt, a bit less than one quarter. Then add some fried onion and some mustard oil, or you can use uh, olive oil as well if you want. But for that, for aloo porta, guys, I always recommend I will recommend you to uh, use the mustard oil. It gives nice uh, zing taste to the porta. Now, uh, using your hand or if you have gloves, uh, you can use the gloves as well. Uh, just you have to crush the chilies with the salt and mix it everything. The oil, I don't know if you can see, mm, mix everything up. Then you add one heap uh, tablespoon of potato, uh, mashed potato, a bit more than that.
and also I'm going to add some coriander powder, sorry, coriander, fresh coriander. That's it guys. The first one is ready. I'm going to keep it aside. Right guys, the next one I'm going to show you, the Bangladeshi one, um, which is very uh, popular in Bangladesh. I'm going to use the fresh uh, onion. Fresh onion. Uh, onion actually I'm using here about uh, half of one, small, uh, medium sized onion, about 30 gram probably. And you have to finely slice it. This one bit not. I mean, that's why I'm crushing it, it's bigger, bigger size, that's why. It's a bit finely sliced, okay. Um, then I'm going to add green chili, it's finely chopped. Uh, I'm adding here uh, two, but if you want to add less, you can add less as well if you want. Now I'm going to add salt, less than one quarter. Salt to taste, guys. It's up to, I mean, it's up to you how much you want. And also on this one, guys, yeah, what you can add actually, you can roast some garlic cloves. You can roast it, then you can you can add it on this if you want. Uh, but I'm not adding it today. And also, I'm going to add uh, one teaspoon of mustard oil. And I'm going to add some coriander as well. Now I'm going to add the mashed potato. About one and a half heap uh, tablespoon. And I to mix it well, guys. I'm going to add a little bit more much better to you. about two uh, tablespoons together, guys. Two tablespoons. You have to properly mix it with the potato. That's it. This one is ready as well. Right, guys. Uh, two is done. Now I'm going to do another one. Um, it's the same process as the first one. But we're gonna add the uh, boiled egg as well. So first, a few dry dry chilies and salt, a bit less than one quarter teaspoon. But you adjust it, guys. It's up to you how much you want. And also some uh, fried onion, and some mustard oil. I'm adding two teaspoons on this. Because I'm adding uh, egg as well, and I'm going to add the shredded egg, boiled, and also some coriander. Now mix it all. Alright, guys. Now I'm going to add the potato. Two. One and a half. Let's see, guys. This one is done. Look at that. It's beautiful, guys. Uh, trust me. That this one particularly, uh, it's very nice. Right, guys. Uh, the one I'm gonna do now is the garlic one. I'm gonna use garlic pickle. It's a garlic pickle one. So first, I'm going to add, um, yeah, some dry chilies. Guys, uh, the, the dry red chilies, guys, if you think it's too spicy for you, uh, you can skip it. You can skip this, um, or you can use green chili. Right now, I'm going to add some salt, one quarter teaspoon of salt, and the pickle. One half teaspoon. That's garlic. 
as you can see guys garlic pickle and also it's got nigella seed as well on this and also it's got mustard oil as well you can buy this from any asian supermarkets any brand just garlic pickle right now i'm going to add a bit of fried onion not too much just a little bit and some coriander and a bit of mustard oil as well now mix it all before you add the mashed potato then you add the mashed potatoes just estimated guys estimated should be fine one or two two hip tablespoon should be fine the pickle garlic pickled one is ready I go another one left, so I'm gonna do the other one as well. The last one I'm gonna show you, the naga pickle and with the chaat masala. So first, uh, same. I'm gonna add the dry chilies. Now I'm going to add the onion the coriander and salt one quarter teaspoon then I'm going to add naga pico not too much um, just about half teaspoon sorry guys uh, I added half teaspoon of uh, naga pico then I'm going to add some chaat masala chaat masala about what uh, half teaspoon half teaspoon of chaat masala then I'm going to add the potato too. same as before, like two hip uh, tablespoon. This one is a bit spicy and tangish as well to get the flavor of uh, spicy and um, also tangy flavor. Maybe. I'll see you guys, this one is ready as well. That's the last one. Beautiful guys, that's all ready. Right guys, my aloe board is already. Now I'm gonna try all of them to taste it. See how is the taste. Also, you can make takadal. With the turkey dal, I made it today as well. I'm gonna show you now. With the turkey dal, it goes really nice. Also, you can have it with the main meal as well. Uh, they they taste really nice. Right guys, uh, now the taste test. Uh, I go all the bortas here, five of them. The naga, uh, the naga one here, naga and chat. And this one is garlic. That's the di uh, egg one, the dim egg. That's the Bangladeshi one, uh, the classic one. And that's normal um, with the fried onion, the classic um, Indian style. Okay, let's start guys. Uh, first I'm going to try uh, from this side. So here I got some dal as well, turkey dal. I got video recipe on my channel for that. So you can have a look, I'm gonna put the link as well. So, cause I must need turkey dal with the, with the bottles. But first I'm going to try this one. Now let's try a little bit. Without the rice, let's see. Very nice, guys. It's got a bit of zing flavor from the mustard oil and also the 
fried onion. I added uh, more on this, so it's got the fried onions uh, flavor um, also, and also the dry chilies with the rice. Hmm, beautiful, guys. So let's go for the next one, Bangladeshi one. I used, as you saw, I used um, a num num uh, sorry, a fresh onion, not fried. And guys, this one I always have it, so I know the taste of it. Perfect. The salt, salt, absolutely perfect. Hmm. Beautiful. This one got fresh onions flavor and also the fresh uh, coriander and green chilies. It's got some fresh uh, flavors, I mean, all of it. Also, the mustard oil is giving nice zinc flavor. Now, I'm going to try the other one, the egg one. This one's got, I'm very sure it's got more flavors, guys, because. Because the eggs makes it actually more creamier taste. So I actually like it, not bad. Mm. With the turkey dal, this goes very nice. So now I'm going for the garlic one. Garlic, um, garlic flavored one. Let's see. Mm. really nice I like it this is very nice guys I like it actually this is the best one I think right now the last one the most spiciest one I don't know um, let's see guys how it tastes wow this is a good one it's actually spicy and tangy but I actually like it it gives intense flavor spicy flavor spicy I mean flavor and heat is actually really really nice I like it I see guys that's all I tried five of them guys have a go because when you're fed up eating the meat chickens you know then you can try something different with this uh, make a turkey dal and make some mashed pota potatoes, mash it. Then, as you saw, it's very easy to make. Almost similar ingredients. That's, um, it doesn't take long long to make this. And trust me, it's really really nice. It's a, it's a traditional. I know. Uh, I don't. I don't know if any restaurants, uh, Indian restaurants, they do this kind of uh, recipe. I mean, dishes. But uh, they're actually really nice. And the vegetarian people uh, who doesn't like uh, to have chicken or meat, they can have this as well. If you don't like spicy, just reduce uh, down the chilies, add some more flavor for uh, using coriander or onions, garlics. So that's it guys, if you have any questions regarding this recipe or any other recipes guys, please uh, leave a comment below, I will answer as soon as possible and also um, I will... Um, Make a PDF uh, file for this recipe as well. If you want the recipe, just drop me an email or just uh, leave a comment below. I will drop it to you by email or messenger. And also, guys, we have a Facebook group called Curry Heaven. Um, please join with, uh, on our Facebook group. You can share your uh, rec recipes or you can share your experience if you try my recipes. How was it? You can share your um, thoughts with us. So that's all guys, thank you very much, hope to see you soon guys, very soon, with a very new recipe. Thank you, bye bye.